Welcome to everybody. This is a case report which has been put together by Dr. Gianluigi Delara in Lucca, Italy. The case study is a Navident protocol for complete identitism. The case shows a 70-year-old woman as a one maxillary identitism only number one five still in place treated with denture mandibulary edentulism treated with implant over denture aesthetic and in proper occlusion dentures aim to do away with the difficulties presented by maxillary complete denture while chewing against the opposing denture already implant retained. Bone properties, a CBCT evaluation, CT scan done with a modified navi stent as below it outlined, quantity of bone, compromised bone, CW division of residual bone ridge availability, quality of bone, mostly D4 bone. Treatment plan. Avoid arch implies suggested seven implants to deliver. RP4 or FP3, MISH classification. Because of bone quality and economic reasons, the patient opted for a RP5 option. So six implants have been planned with Navident software to stabilize a AIOD. Navident Surgical Treatment Plan Osteoplasty and six implants have been planned. Implant properties sufficient to support a IOD. Osteoplasty transforms a CW ridge into a CH division of bone, not in a division of bone, because even in case a residual abundant bone should be maintained, in fact the CHS is generally greater than 15 millimeters. In these cases, four to six division CH root form implants are generally used. In this particular case, CH residual arch sufficient bone had remained to plan. Five division P root form implants. One division CH root form implant. Number 1, 2. Flap elevation. Guided approach with Navident. New approach as below detailed. To place the Navistent retaining screws to set the osteoplasty entity and eventually to place the implants. Staged approach. No immediate loading. This approach involves preparing a specific radiopaque replica of the denture, as below in detail explained. The replica has been converted into the navi stent itself. Preliminary in office stent preparation, navi stent. 1. A radiopaque replica of the denture has been used as a scan guide, where the navi stent's arm is fixed to modified navi stent. 2. An occlusal jig is prepared prior to CT to stabilize the scan guide during CT scanning. 3. After CT is taken, a number of retaining screws to stabilize the navi stent have been designed using the Navident software. The corresponding holes have been drilled prior to surgery, three of them in this specific case, using Navident jaw tag and drill tag. 4. Implants have been similarly planned the corresponding osteotomies have been created through barium sulfate replica to allow surgical NPs to work through guided by Navident software 3D tracking system. Modified Navistent Clinical Protocol 1. Flap Elevation 
2, the modified radiopaque Navis tent has been seated in the maxillary jaw using an occlusal jig. 3. The modified radiopaque Navis tent has been fixed to the maxillary jaw through retaining screws, in this case screws and not pins. 4. Osteoplasty. The planned implant axis has been identified through a guided round pair. 5. Guided steotomy and guided implant placement. Flap elevation. Radiopaque navistent placement. Retaining screws, osteotomy and placement. Retaining screws, osteotomy and placement. Osteoplasty. Osteoplasty. Osteotomy. Dynamic implant placement. Treatment benefits. More accurate, predictable and safe surgery. Prosthetic driven surgery, aesthetic. Reduced surgical time. Conclusions. Prosthetic driven surgery possible also for totally edentious patients. Freedom to change plan while in dynamic surgery mode. Intuitive, easy to use software to guide implants. Very efficient workflow with no waiting time for study guide to be delivered. Thank you for your attention.